Cold. Well, yeah, turning to our next weather forecast, let's get a live look at this evening from the Camden waterfront. Yeah, a gorgeous day and pretty yeah. warm out there considering meteorologist Grant Gilmore. And for Bill tonight, I'll take a day in the upper 60s. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. yeah, right. yeah, but we have some rain yeah. and chilly weather. A little bit of rain. Honestly, earlier in the week, it looked like it was going to be a lot worse. Okay. I think the rain is going to kind of be in and out of the area through Friday and Saturday, but I just don't okay. think it's going to be widespread. Mm. Not Will it be, be a cold work. rain? That's I hate a real cold mm. rain. Yeah, and then it's just going to be a cold couple of days after I that. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's, pajamas for the Eagles game. You hello, as per usual. <laughs> I mean, what's better? Nothing, right? Yeah, pajamas and birds. <laughs> hey guys, let's look at that things out there right now as we go into our evening. Uh, looking really nice out there. Uh, still some high clouds streaming in. Uh, some places had a fantastic sunset. Sometimes some places just didn't. It didn't work out with the way the clouds rolled in right around that sunset time. But we're working with great conditions out there still this evening, even though we are seeing those clouds increase. 65 degrees right. Right now, winds are out of the south around eight miles per hour. That southerly wind is going to continue to usher in more moisture, and that's going to result in some more cloud cover for us through the overnight hours. Temps for everybody pretty much in the same uh, place, low to mid 60s. Philly is one of the warmer spots now at 65. Same with Reading, 65 degrees. Trenton, you're at 62. Down the shore, temperatures are in the low and mid 60s. Your evening forecast, all right, no rain tonight, so no worries for rain as we head through the next several hours. We'll see just gradually increasing clouds. Temperatures stay relatively mild even by 11 o'clock. Temps still in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. So where is the rain? Well, we've got a couple of places to watch. One is just off the outer banks of North Carolina and a larger low pressure system with widespread showers moving through the Great Lakes states. Both of these systems will bring us the rain over the next couple of days. That's why we say rain will be in and out of the area. Watch as we go through the overnight. The latest run of our forecast model is showing us that it looks like rain arrives as we go through 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. It'll move through Delaware, Delaware beaches, up along the Jersey Shore, down toward Cape May. I think anywhere Philly West, your chance of rain is significantly lower. Plan on some scattered showers across South Jersey as we go through the morning commute tomorrow. That'll be true all the way up into New York City. So if you're traveling up to New York tomorrow, just know rain through that morning commute. And then there goes that first low pressure system. And then we start to watch that secondary low pressure system and the cold front. That will bring everybody a good chance of rain overnight Friday into Saturday morning. Saturday morning, a couple of showers around, but the cold front's east. Here comes that cooler air. So we're relatively mild through Saturday morning, and then the cooler air begins to arrive as we go throughout the day on Saturday. Maybe a sprinkle Saturday afternoon, and then as we go into Sunday, well, it's just more of that cooler flow coming in out of the west. We're looking at temperatures probably struggling to climb out of the 50s for us on Sunday. 55 for us tonight. No rain until early tomorrow morning, and then plan on showers tomorrow morning. Another round of rain Friday night. After that, it's just a cool several days with temps in the 50s through Monday, guys. Thank you, Sarah.